Jason Blum, head of Blumhouse, just dropped a photo of the title page for the Spawn movie script now titled King Spawn. The script was written by Matt Mixon, Malcolm Spellman, and Scott Silver. Mixon and Spellman penned Marvel's Falcon and the Winter Soldier, while Silver is known as co-author of the Joker movies starring Joaquin Phoenix. This writer's team seems like a perfect fit for such an ambitious project, especially with the dark, gritty vibe of Joker potentially meshing well with Spawn. Todd McFarlane, the creator of Spawn is on board as an executive producer. It's worth noting that Todd has been pushing for a live-action reboot for nearly a decade, even wanting to direct it himself. He teased his concept for the film, where Spawn would be more of a vengeful ghost and urban legend hunted by cops. The story was set to focus on a detective played by Jeremy Renner, while Jamie Foxx has long been attached to the role of Spawn. Foxx mentioned in an interview six months ago that the Spawn movie was still in development, hinting that the project would be something entirely new, possibly an adaptation of the King Spawn comic series, which has been well received by fans. This suggests that McFarlane's earlier drafts, where Spawn had only about 15 minutes of screen time and the plot centered on a decaying system and rampant crime, might be getting a major overhaul. Blumhouse, known for its horrors, could be aiming to create a unique comic book blockbuster. For that, Jason Blum would need to fully commit to Spawn and allocate a significant budget, especially since the original storyline is filled with dark fantasy elements. But whether that's the direction they'll take remains to be seen. Jamie Foxx is still on board to play Spawn, and Jeremy Renner is set to portray Detective Twitch, who will be hunting him down. However, King Spawn might stray from the classic canon and bring us a war for the throne of hell as seen in the comics. After all, they don't change the title of a movie for nothing. Spawn is destined to seize the throne and fulfill an ancient prophecy. What the film will ultimately deliver remains to be seen. Just to recap, Al Simmons' canonical origin story begins with him as a CIA operative ultimately betrayed and killed by his own colleagues. Awakening in Hell, Simmons makes a deal with the Malabolgia demon, trading his soul for the chance to return to Earth and see his wife again. This deal gives him a symbiotic suit and magic powers that deplete over time. He becomes Spawn, part demon, part human. Meanwhile, Malabolgia constantly tempts Simmons to feast on his enemies and unleash chaos upon humanity. At the same time, Al is focused on finding his true place in the war between good and evil, trying to rise above his newfound hellish nature. King Spawn series marks the culmination of Simmons's fate, so it makes sense that the new movie would explore this saga. It seems the reboot won't follow the classic anti-hero origin story, but the film might include flashbacks explaining how and why Spawn became Hell's mercenary. However, neither McFarlane nor Blumhouse House has officially confirmed whether King Spawn will stick to the comic storyline, despite the title connection. According to Jason Blum, the project will stand out from other comic book movies with its boldness and originality, hinting at horror elements and a possible R rating. As a comic, King Spawn is undeniably bold and original, but this doesn't yet confirm any specific plot details for the adaptation. What is clear, though, is that the first issue of King Spawn has become even more valuable. The next step for the studio is to find the right director, but Todd McFarlane has noted that the screenwriters stayed true to his vision. McFarlane also mentioned that films like the first Deadpool, Logan, and Joker served as inspirations, emphasizing the need for more R-rated comic book movies. For now, we're waiting for more details and plot information about King Spawn. As for the release date, Jason Blum confidently stated that they aim to have the film out by 2025, assuming everything goes according to plan. Stay tuned.